Here is game theory explained in three minutes. Game theory is the mathematical study of how people make decisions when the outcome depends not only on what they do, but also on what others do. And it's not just about games. It's used in economics, politics, psychology, and even in everyday life. The most famous example is the prisoner's dilemma. Two suspects are questioned separately. Each has two choices, stay silent or betray the other. If both stay silent, both get to go free. If one betrays while the other stays silent, the traitor goes free and the silent one gets a heavy sentence. However, if both betray, both get sentenced. The most rational thing to do would be to betray, because this guarantees your freedom, and you have no control over the other person's decision. So both betray and neither are released, hence cooperating would have been the better option, even if not the most rational. And this is game theory's key argument. Sometimes the most rational choices can lead to worse outcomes for everyone involved, including yourself. And if you've ever watched the British game show Golden Balls, this brings the prisoner's dilemma to life perfectly. I highly recommend watching this particular episode. The link's in the description. The prisoner's dilemma leads to a key idea, the Nash equilibrium. This is when both players or individuals choose betrayal. Not because it's the best overall, but because it's the most stable choice given each player's incentives. For example, let's suppose two gas stations were on the same street. Both will eventually adopt similar pricing not because it's the most optimal, but because it's the most stable choice in reducing the risk of losing customers if they were priced too high. So in a Nash equilibrium, no player can improve their outcome by changing their decision alone. But then there's zero-sum versus non-zero-sum games. Zero-sum is where one player's gain is exactly another's loss. Poker is a classic example, but many real-world situations are non-zero-sum. Everyone can win or everyone can lose depending on their strategies. Think climate agreements, business competition, or even group projects. Cooperation can create bigger rewards for everyone involved. For example, this is why bars, restaurants, and fast food outlets are usually clustered together to maximize customer reach, even if it means splitting the market. This is known as the hotelling's location model. So whilst cooperation leads to better long-term outcomes, it doesn't work if you're always at the receiving end of betrayal. And this is where the tick-for-tat strategy comes in which can be summarized as follows. Always aim to cooperate and reward cooperation from others. But if betrayed, respond firmly and proportionately, and quickly return to cooperation as soon as the other side does. This balance makes it one of the most successful strategies ever studied in repeated games. It encourages trust, discourages exploitation, and keeps relationships fair. So why does game theory matter? Game theory helps us understand why people cooperate, why they fight, and how we can design systems that encourage better outcomes for all. It encourages us to cooperate with people who we may not like or agree with. As in the long run, this will lead to better outcomes for you and everyone involved. So whether that's in your personal life or professional, once you start noticing it, you'll see it everywhere.